This week I'm in beautiful San Francisco and the Build 2015 conference. One of the announcements today was the availability of the Windows Internet of Things preview, and of course I needed to test that. The preview is available for a few different devices, but I'm going to test it on a Raspberry Pi 2, which is a neat $35 PC, add some storage for another 20 and you have a full PC. To deploy Windows Internet of Things to this device, you need to download the Windows ADK for Windows 10, and then start the Windows Imaging and Configuration Designer. Then, you simply go to the Deploy menu, select the image, the full flash update, the FFU image, you select the device, and then you click Flash, and you wait. Once that is completed, I take the SD card, plug it into my Raspberry Pi, and boot it. Now, when the device is booted, I make a note of the IP address, go back to my other PC, and I will connect to it via PowerShell. First, verify network access. Then, enable remote connectivity. And then, simply connect to the machine. Windows Internet of Things, the preview, has a default password. That password is... If I go into the Windows System32 folder, you can see there are some set commands available. For example, the set computer name. But since this is PowerShell, I need a prefix. And now I can change the computer name to something else. I need to reboot the machine for the change to take effect, and I will exit the remote session. Now I have to wait until my Raspberry Pi reboots, and once network is up, up and running again, I should be able to connect to it one more time. Not yet ready. Try again. This time it worked. I can go back to the remote session again. For example, list available processes on the machine. You can see the FTP daemon is running. Good old DevCon is actually available. So I can use it, for example, to list the hardware classes available. Or just my network class. I can see what application starts on Windows Internet of Things. And here you see the FTP daemon starts. And you can add or remove applications to start using the startup command. And finally, this is an example how to set the screen resolution, or in this case, display the screen resolution. This was a quick walkthrough on how to apply the Internet of Things image and do some basic configuration of the device. Hope you liked it.